My name's Ryan, and I'm known around the world as Trinity the Tuck, and my lips are a drag. One side is bigger than the other. They're lumpy. I hate my lips. I was on RuPaul's Drag Race season nine, and I made it all the way to the finale. So that's a pretty big deal. Obviously, I'm a pageant queen, and RuPaul's Drag Race is the biggest pageant out there. I lost count on how many pageants I've won and placed in. If there's a crown, I've probably won it. <laughs> if not, I've probably snatched off some girl's head. It's mine. And I definitely have the best tuck in the business. No questions. It's magic. It's like origami. You fold it up and it's nice and neat and pretty. <laughs> People ask all the time, like, why would you tape your penis? Doesn't it hurt? Yeah, it, it can hurt, but the career that I chose, you have to have the illusion of being a woman. The only way to get the illusion is to make Mr. Winky disappear, honey. She's gotta go bye-bye. I grew up in a small town outside of Birmingham called Springville. It was not a great time growing up. Small town, young gay boy in Alabama. Horrible. When I turned 18, I had to get out of there. And so I moved to Florida and my friend Chris, who had just started drag, wanted me to do drag with him. I'm gonna pull some showgirl shit. When I got on stage, Trinity was born and she's been a huge part of my life since. As I started to compete in pageants, I noticed that the entertainers that changed things about their body did very well in pageants, and I knew if I wanted to further my career, I had to alter my body too. And that's when I started doing illegal injections. I've had injections pretty much everywhere. Like, ooh, girl, my lips are full, honey, yes. My cheeks were full, my butt was big. I was like, okay, girl, you got it going on now. And I started winning pageants. I started noticing a shift in my lips two years after I got them done. That's when I started to notice the unevenness, the lumping, and then I was like, oh God, what did I do? Who wants to see that? I know I don't. I was like, girl, look at her lips, honey. She went to the wrong doctor. No, ma'am. I know that Dr. Nassif and Dr. Debro are the best in the business. If anyone can help me, they can. I want them to take everything that's not supposed to be in there out and replace it and make them huge. Like, I want just ginormous lips, like two hot dogs just sitting there. Like that. Come on, let's look. I'm so excited. <gasps> wow, look oh, at that. Ch child, that is gorgeous. I want everything. I think you should try some stuff on. I think so too. When I first started drag, I used to be terrible. When you think of a drag queen starting at Halloween, that's what I looked like. Compared to now, I'm like a Kardashian or a Victoria's Secret model. You don't even need a wig. I feel like Gaga. Trinity on stage is completely opposite of Ryan. She gives me like a power that, you know, I don't feel as Ryan. I feel more in control and I feel more badass. Yes, yes, and work, and spin. And You're gorgeous. Spins. Now that my career has really taken off, I have shows to do. I am constantly traveling. I've traveled to probably close to 30 countries. I'm constantly on the road. Okay, hold on. I think, ugh. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, oh. oh we did it. Oh. Can you imagine carrying basically another person in a suitcase around with you always? Exhausting, being two people. I feel like it doesn't matter what I wear, that my lips are always like the focal point. You look great though, like you look good. Trinity's already fierce on stage and once she gets her lips done, she's gonna be 10 times more fierce. Like, oh my God, I'm, just give me a ticket to her show. I wanna see it, like just, wow, plumped. I feel like a queen. Wow, yeah. you look good. But you for sure need your lips done, because I can definitely see it now. You're a bitch. <laughs> you need to get some boobs, too. You know what? You need to get some talent. Oh, okay. <laughs> Crown it. Boom.
Gorgeous! <laughs> Our next patient, Ryan, a.k.a. Trini, was on RuPaul's Drag Race. He had a problem with a lot of injections. I think went to some pump parties oh, no. in the lips and other parts of the body. Probably some non-medical grade silica. Oh, we got to no. take a look at that. No, so he's got those limps. The nodules are really coming. Granulomas. Here. Upper, lower. Oh, oh hello. Wow. Fantastic. Ryan is hot. Can you please send in Ryan? Hi. Love that outfit. Hi. Thank you. Hi, Dr. I'm Trinity Nelson. the Tuck. I absolutely love plastic surgery. I would have my big toe done. I would have my ankles done. I would have a knee reduction. You name it, I would do it right now. Somebody pay for it. It's expensive. He knows RuPaul. You were just on RuPaul's Drag Race? Yeah, we Don't, both were. Oh, you both yeah, were? Yeah. Don't you love RuPaul? I love her. So what do you do now? We travel the world. Mm -hmm. That's what we do. We're professional yeah. entertainers. Entertainers. We lip sync. Are you walking down a runway? We do it all. There's categories. Mm -hmm. You're walking. I want to have you show him how to walk down. You know, I'd love to By actually way, see. By the way, I already that. know how to walk down a runway. Like, with a little lesson. You, you're gonna do it. With, I'll do yeah, it with just you. Do a show little me. Lesson for you. Give me a little. Here, you get on this side. So let's do it together. Okay. So put your hands on your hip. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now. <laughs> yes. Doctor Debro can do better. I give it a six. Don't do the lip like that. Just do it, just oh, like this. Do up. a smirk. Dead. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. He, he, we are that yeah. was pretty good. That was pretty good. If you want to be fierce, it's like this, Terry. Blue steel. So what was the first body modification thing you did? I got my face done. OK. With filler? With. Silicone. Okay, so did you go? How long ago was that? About 12 years ago. Did you have any problems after the first? No, no. I didn't start having problems for maybe like a year or two after. Okay, so what was the first problem you noticed? The silicone had migrated and my lips kind of started to look lumpy. Have you done this? On my lips? Yes. No, no look at her had... cheeks though. Have you done these injections? <laughs> no. Your no. cheeks are huge. Your che exactly. Oh my god, my cheeks have been like the myth of life. These cheeks are super, super real, I promise. My cheekbones are so real. Like, if they were fake, I would totally tell the world. Like, totally tell the world. The truth about these things, mm -hmm. they can be very tricky. Right. I've actually taken a patient in the operating room who had a lot of this in there, mm -hmm. did a very extensive procedure, took it all out. Oh, no. It was amazing. <laughs> then it grew back. And then a year later, they came back and it was all back. What? Yeah. If the doctors can't fix my lips, I obviously will be bummed out. I want to put something legitimate in there and make them even bigger. Fill them up. If we go in the exam room right now, can you take off the lipstick? Yes. OK, let's go do that. Yeah. Then. Let's go okay. do a great exam. All right. You. Hi. Now we have Ryan. Yes. Well, kind of. I'm still on my heels. <laughs> You're a cute guy. Thank you. Say it again. <laughs> I'm really hoping that Dr. Nassif and Dr. Debro can help me with my lips. I want a gallon on the top and a gallon on the bottom, and we're good, honey. All right, wait, wait, let's wait. see, open your mouth a little bit, okay. Yeah, so here's the area where that irritation and that little bubble mm -hmm. you had before. And it gets dry and irritated, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of thickness, especially over through here. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's talk about your lips. Okay. We can help you by making an incision inside your lip mm -hmm. and removing a chunk mm -hmm. of the unevenness and some of the tissue and then stitching it back up. All right. And you'll have to have, you know, stitches in your mouth for about three weeks and you'll have Whoa. limited movement. Lip syncing will be out. There's just no way. Like, I can't take that time off of work. Right. Like, I had no idea. That's a long time. I thought I was going to come in here and you were going to, like, scrape it out and put it back in and, like, a couple of days and then get to go. And this is not like an injection party. You don't have an injection and just go home. Trinity will have to take time to recover after a surgery like this. Be more than happy to reduce the whatever's going on with your lips mm -hmm. as long as you have enough time to let it heal. Yeah, right now is not the time. But if I have some downtime, I'm calling you Listen, guys. We're here. Uh, thank Pleasure. You. Pleasure. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Thank you. Nice Love meeting you. Thank you. Girl, I may not be getting my lips done today, but you better believe I'll be back. I'm going to be knocking on your door. I'm here. I love you. Oh, so thanks. <laughs>
You're gorgeous. You're gorgeous. Duh. My name is Matthew, and my six pack is whack. My abs are a little off kilter. They look very uneven. Looks like if you're playing Jenga almost. <laughs> My world famous drag superstar detox. I was on season five of RuPaul's Drag Race and season two of RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars. I don't even know how many wigs I have, but I would have to guess probably around 200. I have a lot like this one. <laughs> this one makes me feel like a woman. <laughs> and this one makes me feel like a woman on crack. <laughs> I remember seeing my first drag show and saying, that's what I need to be doing. And I was like 17 years old, wearing 10 inch platform heels, going into every bar in the city, and people knew who I was. To be so young and to be accepted into that world at such an early age, it was like a high for me. And then I started meeting all of these other people who had like these beautiful bodies and these gorgeous faces and they looked like aliens. And I was like, I want that. And then I met this guy who was able to offer me some alterations here and there. So I jumped on the opportunity and I jumped on the needle. If I had to put a number on the amount of silicone I have in my body, probably gallons. The first thing I had done was my face, cheeks, lips, and a little bit in my chin. I swelled up so much, but I was obsessed. My lips were like huge and I could see them bouncing when I would walk around and I was like, I have to put lipstick on immediately. So I did, I took like the brightest pink lipstick I could find, I put them on, I was like, oh my God. And my entire life I was a string bean. I was very skinny and I realized that I could have a beautiful body by injection. <laughs> Fill me up. <laughs> I had my pecs done, I had my shoulders done, I had my biceps done my hips, my ass, I was in heaven. But the one thing that I regret the most doing is my six pack. They're not perfectly parallel. They look very uneven. Getting recognized everywhere, there's definitely a little bit of fame. I don't like to say that I'm famous. I am definitely gamous. What's the world gonna think? Because they're very critical. They all have a very strong opinion. And I was like, well, I don't wanna have to like sit and read nasty comments all the time about how gross my abs are. They always have to feel like I'm covered up. I always have to have some kind of like a corset or a girdle to kind of smooth everything out because I don't want people to see those weird lumps. So Dr. Nassif and Dr. Debro, please take these abs out and make me the best little drag queen in the world. I would love you forever. There's this place up here that makes dolls. So I figured since I'm already a rubber doll, I might as well have a little doll of myself. <laughs> You're ridiculous. <laughs> they scan me and then I come out to the little action figure detox. So right here. Awesome. Let us know if you need anything. Thank you. Thank you. My sister is amazing. She's always been that driving force behind me to say, push yourself, push yourself, push yourself. Go out there and go for it. Whatever it is that you want to do. Why don't you just go in naked? Oh, because then that is all going to show. This is all going to show. When Matthew started getting injections, he was pretty young, like 18 years old. And I started to get nervous the bigger his lips got. And the more he started to look like me. <laughs> It was a little bit freaky. Do you want this tight in a bow? Or I want it tied really tight. <gasps> How's that? Going. Keep going. But living with detox and this big personality, it's almost like being around a superhero. It's a lot of pressure to like always constantly look good and having a weird ripply stomach is always on my mind. Because people talk in my comments and they, they make fun of me for it. And I'm tired of it. Let's talk about the haters. I know that I have this issue. I want to fix this issue myself. I don't need your little bitch ass telling me to go fix it. Oh, wow. wow. You look fantastic. Thank you. Awesome. Follow me into our duplicator, where we duplicate you. All right, so Angel Pose, I'm going to count down from three, two, one. <laughs> I am living my entire life in this 3D printing machine because I've always wanted to be a robot, alien, sex worker, and that's what, exactly what I feel like right now. <laughs> so you guys happy with this? I think so. It, like, it looks it so good. masks everything that I was concerned about, all of my little problem areas, I think I look gorgeous. I think this doll is gonna turn out so, so cute, and I cannot wait to come back and have another one made where I can be full and naked. Yeah, well, so we're great. Good. Thank you. What are you looking at? Come here, look at this. Our next patient has had injections. 
What? Yeah, some kind of foreign body injections throughout the body because Matthew is a, a drag female queen. impersonator, a drag queen. So wait a minute, what yeah. about, what about the uh, chest? So it looks like is there's that... been injections in the chest, certainly injections in the abdomen, which are the problem area, because look, they're, although at first glance they sort of look like abs, when you look at them, that doesn't look real, doesn't look natural, actually looks pretty abnormal. Let's bring Matthew. Can you please send in Matthew? Hello. Hi. Matthew, how are you? Oh, well, how are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Hi, Matthew. Too. Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. You can call me Dee. Dee. Okay. Me nice to meet you. Dee. Hi, Terry Dubrow. Nice, nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. They look so handsome. I didn't realize we were going to be so handsome in person. So I'm a little flustered. I actually recognize you now that I see you. Oh, yeah, from Cops? <laughs> <laughs> Bad boys. Uh, no, you've been on RuPaul's Drag Race. Have I you have, not? yes. Yes, you have. And actually, you're quite a prominent person. I'd like to think so. Yeah. Bought you a little something. Well, let's see what you really need. Oh, you open it. I did. Oh. oh. I figured um, you guys would want to see me all the time. Look so at I that. bought you a little. A that little is so there. cool. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> How did you have that? No, is this an outfit you wear? Mm hmm Like, did a whole scanning of my body in 360 degrees, and then it's 3D printed. I feel like everybody deserves to have a little detox with them all the time. But if they can't fix me, I'm taking that mother back. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so obviously you're here because you've had a series of injections, yes? Yes. What possessed you to do well, I was very, I was very young. I started getting work done um, and all my injections, my silicone injections, when I was about 18 years old, and I just never been able to get an ass before. I, I want higher cheeks. I want bigger lips. This is, seems like a very easy, inexpensive way to remedy those issues. Multiple things can happen with silicone injecting your body. It can cause deformities. It can get in your blood vessels, and this could happen five years, ten years, twenty-five years down the line. You never know. As I was getting everything else, I wanted to have abdomens yeah. where they were more defined and more pronounced. So you wanted to inject a six pack. So I wanted to inject a six pack. But, but let me just interrupt you. You wanted to get feminizing injections, but you don't want to transition it all. No, I wanted to kind of find this weird medium where I'm feminine, but also masculine, like, like I, have, I have pets. Androgyny. Like very, yeah, I want it to be very androgynous and, and very okay. fluid with my gender. Okay. And I still do. How's it affecting you negatively? Well, as a man, and as a gay man, obviously, I want to get naked all the time. <laughs> and as a drag performer, I want to get naked all the time. When you're being a man and you're in a club, you're in a social situation, and you're right. gay, shirt comes off, right? right? Go to a white party. Right. What percent of people have their shirts off? All of them. A what, a what party? You know nothing. No, about I this. don't. I don't. I don't know anything Just about. Just no this. plastic surgery. That's yeah. it. I'm a little taken aback at how well versed in the gay community Dr. Dubrow is. He knew about white party. He knew that everyone wants to take their shirts off at gay clubs. I'm like, maybe I've seen him at a gay club a time or two. But that'll just be our little secret. We obviously have a now significant experience helping people with these problems Which from silicone injections. I, I know. But there's always this threat of, you know, what we call waking the sleeping dragon when you do these things, because doing something to a silicone injected area can induce a very significant inflammatory reaction. And you get a whole granulomatous foreign body situation that can be a disaster, you know? So, not to scare you, <laughs> but, that's, but that's what goes on in our minds when we see patients who have problems who want potentially our help. So, I think it's time to go examine you and see what's cooking and see what we can offer you. Shall we? Let's go do it. Let's do it. D has a large amount of silicone injected in various parts of the body. At a moment's notice, any of those can be like waking a Pandora's box and really turn into a major problem for D. Unfortunately, I've had another MRSA infection. I want to be perfect. We have met a wide variety of people who've had body implants, injections, but I don't think we've met anyone who's had injections all throughout their body mm -hmm. like you. So if you don't mind, I'd actually like to sort of examine the various parts and see what's gone on with them. So you had some injections to your arms, yes? Yes. Come here. Like right in here. 
Huh. But just like a tiny little bit. Except, Except right there. That. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. It's really filled, but it's... It's very bouncy. Yeah, no, I mean, <laughs> this is one of the sort of best I've ever seen. Is moving his fingers and squeezing all my little bits. That makes me feel really great. Wow, you have a lot. A lot. Because that's like a 500 cc implant. As I'm feeling Matthew's various areas that he's had silicone injection, I'm assessing him for any inflammatory nodules. And his body has actually very well tolerated the relatively large amount of free silicone that he's injected. He's actually very, very lucky. The good news is it's soft. They're not inflamed. There is a solution. Mm -hmm. I would make an incision that goes hip to hip. I know, but it's below the underwear and elevate up the skin all the way up to the chest wall here. Mm -hmm. And then from the inside, remove these. Thanks, and then I would basically do what's called a skin only tummy tuck on you, which is to remove the skin from the belly button down. And it's a big scar with a very significant recovery. Basically, you're down for several weeks. I came in here with the expectation of hopefully a quick fix for my aesthetic issue. And now we're talking a completely different story. So I think this is relatively actually quite low risk. I'm getting a little emotional because this is like, I thought it was gonna be something. Much easier. Much, no, much worse. I've been very worried about the silicone just because there is so much bad, bad news out yeah. there. And to hear that I'm just that lucky and as lucky as I've thought I have been for years is very good news. Yeah. Hearing Dr. Debro say that I'm at very low risk of having any kind of complication is amazing news. It's like, whew, I can take my tits out and relax now. That's amazing to hear. And I would love to, to explore that option. Unfortunately, I can't do that right now because I can't afford to not be on the road. I'm literally booked and contracted into gigs for like the next year. As soon as I can get some time off, I'm gonna call up Dr. DeBro and say, let's get it on the books. I'm coming in to take these puppies out. Listen, I tuck every night. What's one more tuck? We're here for you when you're ready, Matt slash D, okay? But you tell everyone who comes to you and asks you for guidance not to do this, all right? Thank you. That's good. So it looks like we'll see you in the future. Oh, <laughs> Is that right? Does that work? Yes. It is bizarre that my baby brother, who has never had children, obviously, is now going to be the first in the family to get a tummy tuck. My mom and I are both very jealous, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, thank you for coming oh, and being here. My pleasure.